Hey guys, so welcome back to another video and this week's toy hunt. So this week I'm going to start out with going to local comic book shop, the one that uh, is basically my local LCS. I haven't been here in a few weeks. Uh, usually I just pop in every few weeks to get my subscriptions and uh, I'll get some footage in there, uh, see what's new and you know, I'll do the uh, normal uh, toy hunt as we always do. Again, be sure to comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's head in and see what we can find. So here's the inside, yeah, just as you walk in, that Masters of the Universe Omnibus, uh, which I'm picking up right here, is awesome. Very tempted to get it, but it's pretty expensive. It's $150, but uh, it's very cool looking. Now this is their rack that they have variants, and this is just all their new comics. That's obviously not just this week, but it's the last, like, you know, maybe six to eight weeks or so on average, I would guess. Because obviously they have some stuff that is spilled over from prior weeks, like any comic shop. It's very well organized. It's uh, arranged in alphabetical order. And what's cool is, uh, for some reason, a lot of shops don't actually do this. They actually put a tab over what's a new release, which I like a lot. Here's uh, their, a part of their figure section. Those are Diamond Selects. They have a pretty good selection for the Diamond Selects. Never seen this figure before. Not really even sure what it is. Titanium Man. Never heard of him. That Aliens Omnibus is awesome. Again, it's something I would definitely consider getting if it wasn't so expensive. And uh, this turtle set was pretty neat from uh, Eastman Laird from uh, the black and white. It's actually a new set that came out recently. Here's some more figures. Nothing too crazy, but pretty neat. And here's some of their back uh, stock of comics. They don't have a huge amount that they keep at me for back stock. I don't know what they do with it, but uh, the store has actually been around for many years. So I'm surprised they don't have more, but um, they don't keep a lot out. They do have a lot of uh, graphic novels and omnis. This is a cool Venom one, which, again, I wish they weren't so expensive. But, I mean, you definitely get what you pay for. So, a couple other cool ones. Hey guys, welcome to a new day for a new toy hunt. So, uh, I didn't think I'd be able to get out today, but you know what? I decided I'm taking the day off. I needed a break. Work has been killing me. So, I'm like, I'm taking a day off. I'm going to run some errands. And those errands include a uh, toy hunt around the area at Targets and Walmarts and anything else that I might come across. So, I'm going to do that today. Tomorrow is going to be the big trip to... Uh, Jay and Silent Bob Secret Stash. So that's coming up in the video shortly. But right now I'm gonna uh, hit up uh, Target to see if there's got anything new. Uh, if you guys have not heard, um, by the time this reaches uh, YouTube, I'm sure it's probably gonna be sold out. But just in case, uh, there's an awesome uh, Todd McFarlane Batman pre-order on Target. Um, it's 50 bucks and it's amazing. It's basically a deluxe figure and it has like a huge flowing cape uh, that's made out of plastic, but it displays just absolutely beautifully. It is crazy awesome. So uh, if you guys are able to get your hands on that, uh, you should probably do it. Uh, there was one that came with uh, signed Todd McFarlane cards. Uh, that sold out in less than 20 seconds, I think. Uh, even though I came, went on exactly as it went live, uh, as it was in my cart, it disappeared. So that sucked. But I got the regular one. I actually got two. I'm going to keep one in a box and one to display. Uh, that one is literally one of the coolest figures I've ever seen. So I had to do that.
So anyways, guys, let's head into Target and let's see what we find. So here's Target. The wrestling section, not much there. These I haven't seen yet. These are uh, the Ghostbuster figures from the new movie, which they kind of ruined the movie a little bit because they actually show the old Ghostbusters. They haven't been shown in the trailers yet, but yet they're showing them in the uh, figures. So that's kind of, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we all kind of figured they're going to be in it, but still. DC McFarland's, nothing special there. Some classifieds. This is kind of neat. Thrust. Transformers. Chang-Chi. Have you guys seen Chang-Chi yet? Uh, what did you guys think? I actually saw it at the drive-in a couple nights ago. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it more than Black Widow. NECA, nothing too crazy here. Those Frankensteins are starting to pop up everywhere. And here is a Walmart. And just sitting here, I was shocked. It was both of them. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus from Jungle Express. Kept walking at uh, Walmart. Nothing much for Star Wars. A couple of those vintage collection figures that have been actually laying around now. But look what we come across here. Donatello from the uh, Turtle set. Uh, he came out separately from the rest of them. Now, I was in the DVD section, and I thought this was kind of interesting. Uh, this is a canon movie set. It comes with like 10 canon movies. Canon was a crazy company that did all sorts of wacky... Uh... So, after hitting up uh, some Targets and Walmarts just now, I, I was kind of not far from this place. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a stop here. And it is a place which I did a video on a few months ago, uh, Weirdo Comics and Collectibles. So, let's go check it out, see uh, if they have anything new. And, uh, yeah, it's a cool little store, so let's go. So here's Weirdo Comics and Collectibles. Uh, here is their new comic section. They've been getting more comics, apparently. Uh, here's some Ninja Turtles. This is from the box sets. Here's some loose figures that they have. They have a bunch of loose Ninja Turtles figures. Uh, Casey Jones. Splinter there. They had all the Turtles. Power Rangers. Some uh, Black Series Star Wars. It's kind of interesting where the loose figures are really not that much cheaper than the boxed figures, it seems like nowadays. Here's a bunch from the uh, 30th anniversary line, which I like, but I have all those. Some Omnis that spawn one is pretty cool. I've been contemplating that. Yeah, they definitely have some pretty good trades here. Snake Mountain. That Marvel Legends set right there is pretty cool. I actually almost bought that, but I didn't. It was actually fairly priced. It was like 50 bucks. Uh, this store is very fairly priced. The owner, Josh, is a great guy. Um, again, a Weirdo Comics and Collectibles in Scotia, New York. And uh, he did say he would ship um, anywhere. Um, just look up the store on Facebook, he said. That'd be the best way to contact him. Uh, Weirdo Comics and Collectibles. And if there's anything you see here, he would definitely uh, ship to you. Those are some of the better comics he had. That Devastator right there is awesome. Uh, Man Cave actually has that when I saw it at his house. And I was kind of jealous of it. I was actually very tempted to buy it right here. Um, but it was it's it's expensive. It's $150. Some loose Motu. Various ones uh, from original to WWE inspired. Just various stuff. 
DC McFarlane figures. Some loose wrestlers that he has. Some loose Transformers. That's a cool Jeff Hardy right there. And this Ultra Magnus is pretty cool. That's the one I always see at Target and I always contemplate getting. It's kind of a random array of figures here. Got a lot of nice uh, loose stuff. A Aliens McFarlane figure right there is pretty cool. And that was probably from the early 2000s. Another really nice Marvel Legends set. But of a bunch of the X-Men. Some of the nicer comics that he has. Some more loose figures. And this is all behind the counter stuff. It's got a lot of the Mezco figures. There's uh, the Super Shredder. That's a nice little Jason hanging out. Inferno. Some written, I believe those are original G.I. Joes. Ecto-1, it's a nice dark side behind him there. That Bane is badass looking. I actually checked it out. And that is a nice masterpiece. Ultra Magnus. Batman Beyond Mesco. And just a lot of uh, random goodness here. This Super Shredder, I was looking at just to see if it's any different than the other two that came out. And I don't really think so. I think it's just different packaging. He has a loose one back there. It's the Arena Hulk from um, Thor Ragnarok. Hey guys, so it's Saturday morning and I'm off to Jay and Silent Bob Secret Stash. Today, however, I am joined by probably my coolest guest that I've ever had <laughs> uh, on the show, and it is Mrs. Fantastic. Hello! So she's actually going to be doing some of the filming. I should be in the videos a little more. So I will uh, be getting a bunch of footage in Jay and Silent Bob Secret Stash. This is actually their new location. This is not the one that was in the show. Uh, this one uh, they moved to earlier this year. So it's a couple hour drive for us, but uh, we're heading down now, so stay tuned. So here's the inside of Jane Silent Bob Secret Stash. This is as you walk in to your left. That's a cool uh, Jane Silent Bob right there. Some bumper stickers, stuff like that. This is the Clerks 2 screenplay. And this looks like it's just a bunch of uh, new comics, I believe. Some Clerks 2 merch. Some funny Moby's thing. Some comics. It's my wife walking around looking aimlessly. Although her aimless looking actually paid off, uh, and you'll see momentarily. It's got some cool uh, Motu stuff coming up right here, the uh, classics. I love this line of figures, I really do. I have a bunch, but I'd, I'd love to get more. So, here's some... Just random stuff behind a glass display, obviously. 
That's a great Superman black costume statue. It was huge. I, I think it was probably at least three feet tall. So yeah, now I notice my wife is off like looking at something. I'm like, what is she looking at? I hear a voice in the background, which sounded familiar, but I was like, couldn't be. I walk around the corner and it is Jason Muse sitting there literally uh, doing a gaming stream. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. I turned around, I'm like, I can't believe this is real. <laughs> and I look over at the superpowers figures momentarily. Speaking of the, the superpower figures, I had some great selection for those. It's a nice uh, Joker hot toy right there. There's Jason Muse doing his thing. Buddy Christ from uh, Dogma. Bunch of t-shirts that they have on sale. Berserker. I don't, oh. Same shirt that you're wearing now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks a lot. No problem, Bob. Appreciate Thank it. you. Have a great one. Thanks. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. So that totally made my day there. Oh my God. I had a smile on my face the rest of the day. So, uh, yeah. So Jason Muse was basically there because he had just finished filming Clerks 3 that week. Uh, and that was around town. So he was uh, just hanging out at the store and he wasn't signing or anything. And I just went up to him when he got up to go to the bathroom and I grabbed a t-shirt off the shelves. I was like, can you sign this? And he was so cool about it. Very nice guy. I, I was he totally sto he just stoked. Here I am checking out, chit-chatting with uh, Mike Zabchak from Comic Book Men. Uh, also a nice guy. I've met him actually a few times now. You know, I've had some funny interactions in the past. So, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, the footage from Jay and Silent Bob's secret stash. I tried to get as much as I could, but the place was packed. So, uh, it was kind of hard to maneuver around and uh, get footage, but uh, I did the best I could. I kept people off camera uh, for the most part. Uh, I think really the only person you got to see is really my wife eh, because I didn't really pan the camera away if she got into the shot, but that was really it. So obviously it was pretty cool. Like now with uh, Jason Muse, we had no idea that he was even <laughs> going to be there. Um, they just finished filming uh, Clerks 3 not that long ago, I think this week. And he was just is still there in the area. And from what it sounded like, he was doing a like a gaming live stream or something like that. That's why he was still there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he wasn't signing autographs or anything. And, you know, all I basically did was, you know, he happened to get up and go to the bathroom. And I went over, I grabbed a T-shirt to get signed and just walked up to him and asked him to sign it. He was very nice about it. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great. It was a great time. So, anyways, uh, here are my pickups from the week. Um... Yeah, some of these it came in the mail. Uh, some of it was from the stores. So first I'll start with uh, what uh, I got at Jane Silent Bob's Secret Stash. Now, uh, the first thing, I got this actually at the counter. I didn't even pick this up when I was walking around, and this is awesome. This is the um, collector's edition Blu-ray of Mallrats. I believe this is the 25th anniversary edition. And... It's actually pretty neat because it is actually signed by Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Now, Kevin Smith signs everything. His signature is not hard to come by. I actually have his signature on a bunch of stuff. But uh, still pretty neat to have. It's a collector's edition uh, Blu-ray. It's got uh, three versions of the movies and stuff. So um, it's got a theatrical cut, an extended cut, and actually various, it looks like, TV cuts. So that's kind of neat. And it's got all sorts of uh, bonus features. Next, uh, I got this. I thought this was really cool. This is actually one of my favorite movies of his. Um, and again, it's signed by both him and uh, Muse. And it is the Clerks 2 uh, screenplay.
So that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and this ad was just a uh, funny, yeah, I thought it was funny. That, um, it's from the uh, funniest scenes in uh, Chasing Amy. It's <laughs> when Banky was at the uh, con. <laughs> What's a Nubian? Oh, that was a great scene. And last but certainly not least, this is what I got signed. It's this t-shirt. It's right there. Jason Mewes Snoogans. So yeah, I don't think I'll actually ever wear this. I'll probably just hang it up and save it since it's got a signature, but uh, definitely cool to have. All right, uh, this came in the mail actually. It was waiting for me when we got back. It is a Series 88 Elite figure, uh, Trish Stratus. She's actually, she's probably my favorite female wrestler of all time. It's pretty cool, it comes with uh, the trench coat and everything. And then I got a few AEW figures. Uh, this one I found, I believe this was the one at uh, Walmart, uh, Jungle Boy. Who, for those of you who do not know, he's uh, Luke Perry's son. I already have a uh, Luchasaurus. Uh, they're kind of a pretty good tag team. Uh, next, uh, I got this on uh, Entertain. No, this was Ringside Collectibles, and it is uh, Darby Allen. Very cool wrestler. He's just got a cool look to him. He's going to be fighting uh, CM Punk at uh, the All Out pay-per-view, which is actually tonight. And also, I got the man formerly known as Rusev, Miro. It's a cool figure. So I got those. Next, I got this in the mail. This was from Hasbro Pulse. It was a 50th anniversary a uh, Black Series figure in the Power of the Force uh, line type style. It's the Luke Skywalker. It's very cool. I got a couple of these. I think I pre-ordered uh, the Luke, uh, the Han Solo, and the Greedo. Um, the, the Han and the Greedo have not arrived yet. So Next, I got this at Walmart, and I picked up two of these because uh, one I got for me and one I got for uh, my buddy Man Cave. So it's uh, the Donatello, and this completes the Walmart set, which is really cool. Boy, I've been getting a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I gotta show this as well. I'll show that in a minute, because that came in this week. Next, uh, this I got. Uh, da, 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 this I got at Target. It's a beachhead. I'm not sure if I got this on camera or not, but definitely pretty cool. Uh, another uh, classified figure. Let's see, and this I actually got on eBay. It is the Baxter Stockman Super Seven Ultimate. It is so cool. So now I'm just waiting for the pre-orders to arrive of uh, Michelangelo and a Donatello. And I also have pre-ordered Casey Jones, but that one I don't think comes out till like sometime next year. And last but not least, this I have been looking for now for a few weeks. I've mentioned it several times in my videos and my buddy uh jim hooked me up with this uh he found it and he basically he sold it to me at cost plus shipping can't turn that down uh so it is the armored dark side this is an awesome awesome looking figure So just to compare the two, so yeah, so it's uh, definitely pretty cool. 
So those were my pickups uh, for the week. Let me know what you guys think. Please comment on the video, like uh, the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. What have you guys been finding? Uh, right now has been kind of a dry uh, time at the stores. Like it's really, I only was able to pick up essentially two or three kind of smallish things at the stores. Uh, there's just not much as restocks going on, but it's all stuff that's already been around for a while. Um, I'm one of the things which I'm definitely looking for right now is the, uh, Jason Friday 13th part seven, new blood NECA figure. That one looks awesome. That looks like it could be the best, uh, Jason figure that NECA has put out. So I'm definitely on the lookout for that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find that in the next coming weeks. Um, NECA figures, uh, especially for the horror ones are usually not that hard to find, but we'll see. Uh, fingers crossed famous last words, right? So, uh, thanks again, guys, again, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, this was a really fun, uh, video to do as I got to, um, uh, go to some different, uh, kind of places, especially with Jay and Silent Bob Secret Stash, but this wasn't just all Walmarts and Targets. I did a couple of comic stores, the toy, um, obviously with the toy store so it was definitely pretty cool i'm definitely enjoying it let me know know what you guys think do you prefer that kind of thing or do you want me to stick more to the targets and walmart's a little bit of both uh just let me know what you prefer and uh you know i'll kind of go with uh what the fans want so all right guys thank you again so much for watching until next time take care